Hey, it's Dan here. And what I'm going to be making for you guys today is uh, my version of Chili Mac. Uh, what I have right here is I've got my uh, it's five cord Ozark Trail uh, Dutch oven. It's a camp style Dutch oven. You guys have seen me use it in a video or two before. Um, I know making a Chili Mac, I'm going to be boiling in this, and I'm also going to be putting some tomatoes in it. And I know I've told you in the past I really don't like doing that in my regular cast iron. But this is due to be reseasoned real soon anyway, because uh, I had it over a fire and got it a little too hot. Um, so I'm not too worried about it. Um, as long as you don't keep a rolling boil for a real long time, you don't really damage your seasoning. And with the tomato and the acid from the tomatoes, as soon as I'm done with this, uh, I'll serve up a couple bowls for me and the wife, and then I'll transfer all this into um, a storage container. Um, that way and then I can clean this and it won't sit in there very long but what I've got for you I'm starting out and I got one pound of uh, ground beef this is just 80 20 you can get whatever you want if you want to get I think they even sell up to 96 4 now and then I got one pound of uh, this is just breakfast sausage pork sausage this is the original if you like you can get the uh, um, hot I chose not to go with the hot sausage today, but I, then I've got a, a 10 ounce package of chopped onion, and I'm going to put those in here, and yes, I do have this on pretty high heat right now, because I want to saute everything up, I don't know if you can hear the sizzle, but I'm just going to break everything apart, get this sauteing. I'll be back with you here in just a few minutes after everything's browned up and the onions are cooked down a little bit. All right, I've got this now to where there is uh, no pink left in the beef or the pork sausage. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add me some uh, kidney beans. These are the dark red and I'm putting them in juice and all. And I know I did not drain the grease out of this. If I was making my regular chili, I would, but how I do my chili mac and stuff, the grease doesn't bother me at all. Um, if you want to drain the grease out of yours, you're more than welcome to. Um, then here's some white navy beans. And that's juice and all also. Alright, let me get those beans mixed in real quick. And with it being 25 degrees out here today, sometimes I wonder why I do outdoor cooking, but I just love it. Um, this chili's gonna be real good today. All right, then I got a can of diced tomatoes and juice and all with those also. It wouldn't be a good chili without a little bit of Rotel with the green chilies in it. This is the mild Rotel. Um, the reason I didn't do the original or the hot is uh, because I also have an ex another can of these fire roasted green chilies and I'm going to throw those in there. Alright, let me get this mixed together. Alright, I can already tell I'm going to need a little more liquid. So let me get this mixed together, and then I've just got regular chicken broth. You can use beef broth if you like. Um, you can actually use water. You can use tomato juice. Um, actually, the hot and spicy V8 makes it real good, but I didn't have any at the house today. All right. So I'm just going to let this come up to a little bit of a boil. And then I'm going to taste it after it comes back up to a boil and just kind of judge how much salt and pepper that I need to put in it. Oh my, sometimes I think I need someone babysitting me when I'm out here cooking. I'm still waiting for it to come up to a boil, but 
I forgot to put my chili seasoning mix. And I put two bags of it, or two packets. These are just 1.25 ounce packets. So let me get this chili seasoning mixed in in my chili mac. So it's actually chili mac and not just a bean soup mac. And let it come up to a boil. And I'm already filling up this five quart pan pretty good. Now it's getting some of that red color in there. All righty. Well, I'll see you guys here in just a few. And I promise you, I haven't forgot any other ingredients. All right, I've got this up to a boil. So now what I'm going to do, and I've got this uh, elbow macaroni. This is a one-pound box. I'm just going to pour the whole box in. This is uncooked. Stir this in real good. I'm going to turn my heat down to uh, medium to medium low. And I'm going to put the lid on this, and I'm going to let it go for probably 15 minutes or so. Uh, let the uh, macaroni start soaking up a lot of these juices. And then I'll, after 15 minutes, what I'll do is I'll see if I need to add any more um, chicken broth. Like I said, or you can use uh, tomato juice, water, whatever you guys prefer to use in your uh, chili. But I got that all mixed together. I'm just going to go over here, grab my lid, set it on here, turn that down to about medium, and I'm going to give it roughly 15 minutes and I'll see how it's going. If you guys enjoy the videos I do, enjoy the cooks that I do and everything, please hit the like button, please subscribe to my channel. Um, here lately, uh, my videos have been coming out sporadically, but I try to put out one a week. Um, this one won't be on my normal day. I've been trying to do Wednesdays, but the last couple of weeks, it's been Thursday or Friday before they come out. Um, but yeah, hit that little bell icon next to subscribe, and you'll get a notification when I do put one out. Um, hopefully you guys are enjoying this. I'll be back here in just a few. All right, I checked this after... Uh, 15 minutes and it needed just a little bit longer so this has actually been on for 20 minutes and remind me to grab my gloves that lid is starting to get a little on the warm side but if you can see it did soak up quite a bit of that uh, juices and everything if you like yours more soupy you can add more liquid um, I like mine more like a stew this is pretty good consistency um, and it's actually going to thicken up just a little bit more for me because as soon as I get everything mixed together, I got an 8-ounce bag of this Fiesta Blend cheese here. Um, I'm just going to add roughly 3 or 4 ounces at first, mix it in, and just kind of see how it melts together. Not exactly sure on this. I'm guessing there's probably 4 quarts of chili here. I'm just kind of guessing how much cheese it'll take to make this one big old pot of cheesy goodness. I can tell you right now it's going to take more than that. That's a no-brainer. All right, let me put some more cheese in there. Now heck with it. I'm going to go with eight ounces of cheese today. I don't think you can go wrong. Now once this gets melted in, this is actually ready to serve, or if you wanted to, you could put this on a real low simmer, and, uh, you know, if you're out camping or something, and uh, just leave it on, and people can serve themselves as uh, they want. Yeah, definitely use the whole eight ounces, guys, if you do this recipe. And that is my Chili Mac. I'll be back here in a little bit once I get me a bowl of this and it cools down. I'm actually probably going to let this uh, simmer just probably about 15 more minutes. Then I'll take it off and let it cool down. But I'll see you guys here in a little bit. I'll do a taste test and everything. 
thank you very much if you made it this far in the video. I know it's been a little bit longer than most of my videos. I'm roughly about 10 minutes right now. Y'all have a wonderful day if you don't stick around for the taste test. But man, I can't wait to taste it. Hey guys, thank you very much for making it this far into the video. Um, this is what it looks like when it's in the bowl. It's, I already had a couple spoonfuls, I'll tell you. Yeah, it still hasn't cooled down all the way. You'd think I'd learn my lesson. I do that about every video, but very good. Um, the green chilies, I can definitely taste them. It's not too hot at all. Like I said, I use the uh, mild Rotel in this recipe. You're more than welcome to use the original or the hot. Um, as far as chicken stock that I used, you're more than welcome to use like a tomato juice or uh, spicy V8's actually real good in it. But thank you very much for watching my video. I definitely appreciate all your guys' support. Please leave comments. Uh, I know here lately I haven't been getting back to them in a real timely manner. It's been super busy around here and everything. Family's been keeping me, you know, hopping and everything. But y'all have a blessed day. Thank you very much for watching my video.